it's a fantastic day for us. Absolutely fantastic day for us. Uh, it's uh, another signing that we are making with Marco Alexic here beside me uh, from our academy. Marco has been a part of our academy for three years. Uh, worked under the excellent tutelage of Jeff Paulus and Paul Kelly and, uh, and now with, with Eric as well, looking after him. Marco will now join our first team programme and uh, I think we're, we run a, a pretty special environment at FC Edmonton. I think it gives a player like Marco a wonderful opportunity to serve a, a speeded up process in terms of his football apprenticeship. Uh, he will now train with Albert Watson, Kareem Moses, who's our Trinidad and Tobago international, as well as young Milan Roberts, uh, three terrific centre-backs, and Marco will come in as a number four centre-backs. And I think that in itself makes a statement of the high hopes that we have for Marco and the progress that the young man has made uh, during his time with our academy. It also says a great deal about what we're all about in terms of promoting our local players and building through our community. Uh, we have made some terrific off-season signings, uh, going for a little bit more experience, but not at the expense of promoting our younger players through our academy. I think that is essential if the club is going to progress forward. I think it's uh, critical for us to keep a local element to FC Edmonton. I think it's absolutely massive. Uh, I hope at one day to be the same height as Marco, so hopefully that uh, I haven't peaked too early yet. But uh, Marco is a centre-back and uh, a talented one at that. He's on the fringes, hopefully, of a national team uh, call-up. And I think the fact that he will train on a daily basis with our first-team players will help to speed up that process that we have yet another player uh, that will go from our academy ranks into uh, our first team ranks and as well as our national team. We've had Hanson Bokai and Sadi Jalali already come through this system and we have the same hopes and aspirations for, for Marco. So uh, I actually should be his agent standing here. I spoke that highly about him, but it's, it's what I believe in my heart and what we believe as a, as a technical staff uh, that Marco uh, will bring to the table to us. So the future looks very promising for FC Edmonton in terms of our youth, we definitely have an abundance of talent coming through. Uh, I just did a coaching uh, conference in Toronto this past weekend and had the privilege to work with some of the TFC players. And I can assure you that we're along the right lines of what we're doing with our academy, with uh, what I saw on the weekend. So I'm very excited about the work that is going on. It's an exciting day for us uh, with FC Edmonton. I mean, we're, we're now just going into our fifth year. Uh, that's from what I've been told, the longest uh, we've had a professional soccer team in Edmonton so far. So that's exciting. Uh, we, we did better last year than the year before and we'll do better again this year. We've always uh, had a preference for Canadians where we could and, and have from day one. And, and, and that goes back to the roots. And the roots were getting into soccer as a vehicle to give back to the city and give back to the youth. It was, it was an exciting time when we first started our academy uh, in the high school for the high school youth and, and the reserve team. And, and then uh, so much nicer last September when we were able to add that on the female side. We've been working very well with the Alberta Soccer Association. They're great to deal with. So that's also exciting. And, and, and now to have a, another young fellow who's, who's developed through our programs to come up into into the the first team, I mean that's that's such a big part of what what we're doing, and why we're doing it. We we want that story out so that so that we have more more people coming out to our games. Uh, the games are really exciting. They're played at a high level, uh, and you have a bigger crowd. It gets more exciting, which brings more people out, and and it moves us along the path to uh, to sustainability. So our goal is to continue doing what we're doing with, with uh, lots of community development, lots of development of the youth in the city, and to put a great, uh, a great show on the field and, and to have youth like, uh, like we have today uh, that are local, local kids that can work their way up into our main team. It's just wonderful.
Well, uh, the academy started three years ago, and for the local players here in Edmonton, it was an exciting time, you know, a professional club, and they were providing in a professional environment where we could develop at a rate that none other, none other program here in Edmonton could provide. So when this all started up, we were all excited and the program was actually filled with strong players as it is today. I think I developed faster than I could with any other program here in Edmonton. Right. It provided uh, a knowledge for professional tactics, technique, development for my technique. It just provided a professional environment for me to develop at a faster rate. How exciting is today just to be signing at the oh, school? It's a dream come true. Yeah. Signing professional Signing a professional contract has been a dream for me since I was a little kid, you know. And your family, what does your family think of, of this whole thing? Well, they're happened? completely proud, yeah. uh, especially being from Europe. It's a religion over there. Mm -hmm. So after I, after I finally signed my professional contract, they're extremely proud. How tall are you? I'm six foot four. That's got to be an advantage on the field, on the pitch, eh? For sure, especially as a center back. Uh, it's, it's wanted, especially in Europe, for a taller center backs. Uh, heading ability, you know and yeah, a bigger, bigger body in the back, it helps.